Hey everyone, Kevin here from Focus Astronomy, and it is Friday, um, day seven technically of the Texas Star Party. Um, we're finally here in Texas after a crazy day of driving, flying, and driving again. Uh, we finally made our way to Fort Davis, Texas. And today, we're gonna go see some of our friends. Uh, we have our friends from Software Biscar here. Uh, Celestron is here. We also have a NASA astronaut, Don Pettit, and a bunch of other cool uh, people are actually here. So we're gonna go see them today, uh, check out some of our scopes, do a walk around on the field, um, maybe talk to some of our friends today. <clears throat> and then um, tonight, we'll really hopefully get a good view of the Milky Way. So touching a little bit more on what I said yesterday, uh, star parties like this are a really kind of a cool get together for anyone who's into astronomy. It allows you to not only view those faint little fuzzies and little things you've always wanted to see and see a bunch of equipment, but it's also a great uh, camaraderie event that really allows you to connect with other people who are interested in the same field as you. So it's a lot of fun to come out here and share your passion with people who are equally passionate about astronomy. And events like this happen all over the place. Uh, you know, you don't even have to travel to some dark site to do this. Um, most places have some kind of a club or organization or whatever that allows you to really enjoy just the camaraderie that astronomy brings and allows people to come together on. So, but being able to come to one of those larger events in a beautiful dark sky is pretty awesome. So we're gonna head out, go meet up with some of our friends, and enjoy the day. All right guys, so we're here at Texas Star Party. Um, it's the middle of the day, so everybody's either asleep or somewhere else. You can see all the telescopes here all wrapped up. This is the upper field. And then there are two more fields back down here, the lower field and the midfield. Uh, we're hanging up here with the Celestron and Skywatcher stuff. So here's the Skywatcher. 20 inch dog that we brought and all this other stuff back here so we'll be going tonight hey everyone so i'm here with my friend dom pettit uh Hi. astronaut uh, how many times have you been in space i've been in space three times here we go um so we're here at texas star party um don just gave an awesome talk but i wanted to have him tell you guys all the kids out there, what it really takes to become an astronaut, so, yeah. Well, to fly in space, human beings can't survive without machines. We need machines to take you in space, we need machines to keep you alive. And if you want to be an astronaut, you have to understand how these machines work. And you have to know how to fix them when they break. And so, to understand how the machines work, that takes math, and science and engineering. So you gotta know that kind of stuff if you wanna fly in space. And you have to know how to use these things other than typing on a keyboard. You gotta know how to use a wrench. You gotta know how to fix things. If the car breaks, open the hood, look at it, figure out how it works and, and make it run again. And, and so these are the kind of skills you need if you want to do my job. And I hope that everybody out there wants to do my job. But first, you gotta study hard in school. If you make a mistake in space, it's no longer minus 10 points on an exam. Mistakes in space cost you dearly, and so you really have to know what you're doing. And right now, as a student, you got to study this stuff, and you got to learn it, and then you can come and take my job. Awesome. Well, Don and I are going to head out to the star field. Thank you, Don. And uh, we'll see you guys at the star field. Hey, guys, so we're out here in the star field right now, and unfortunately... This camera's not really sensitive enough to show you, you know, the night sky out here. So we'll have to resort to other cameras. <clears throat> but uh, it is very, very dark out here. The Milky Way literally crosses the sky edge to edge. There's about 40, 50 scopes, just, well, probably more than that, just in the field alone where we're at. But, um, so we're going to get started out here. We're um, opening up our telescopes. Uh, should have a pretty good night. <clears throat> Jupiter's video or visible. Uh, Milky Way is rising here in a couple hours. Uh, we're going to try some Milky Way shots and hopefully get something good. 
If we do, I'll be sure to share it with you guys. But uh, let's head out to the scopes. All right, everyone, so we had a good night out at the star party. We did have some clouds move in. Um, got some pictures, which you know we'll show here in a second. Um, but overall, good night. Uh, temperature was good, but uh, it's time to call it a day. And we're gonna kick back into this tomorrow and break the stuff down and wrap up Texas Star Party 2017 tomorrow. So thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.